hey loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones my name is obsi thank you guys for tuning in once again i think it's been quite a while since i've done any zara haul on this channel and i know you guys really love like the zara fragrances i know zara has come up with new fragrances and new perfume oils but i made a promise to myself to stop buying a lot of zara fragrances. to be honest i used to buy the zara fragrances just to review them for you guys i have made it a point to actually buy fragrances that i would actually use obviously they are inexpensive yeah so i picked up a few pieces not not too much to be honest so yeah if you like this kind of video then make sure you keep on watching let's start with the clothes first okay so the first outfit i picked up here is this dress i have this dress in literally the three colors um this was eight thousand forint. i got in the size large it has a v-neck and then it has this middle slit here which i absolutely adore i have it in the beige or the cream and i really really like it i always find myself reaching out for pieces like this like simple dresses that i can wear out or i can wear to lounge in the house i feel like i'm reaching out for dresses because it helps me not to think too much about planning outfits i have the same dress in the cream and i decided to buy it in the gray i think this is the gray obviously this is the gray color i equally got it in black so it comes in three colors the cream the gray and the black one and i absolutely love it it wasn't on sale this is 7.95 and i got them in the size um large i really really like how they fit on me very stretchy they are actually like wool fabrics wool on it material so i picked this one up as well i have had this on my wish list for the longest of time it also comes with matching pants but unfortunately my size got sold out i think this was on sale but the original price was 12,000 for it i think the one thing that made me buy this was the color i really really like the color and i feel like it's something that can go with literally anything in my wardrobe and it's just a plain simple satin shirt got this in a size extra large because i wanted that oversized fit my items are already in here but i picked up this bag from zara because i was in their need of a work bag my bags from zara have lasted me for so long i don't remember the last time i bought like a tote bag from zara because i've kept on using the same ones for like years and years and years and they have served me so it was time to buy a new bag and i feel like this is perfect you all know that this comes in like the smaller sizes probably in the black the cream and the army green i believe and i absolutely love those bags see i literally want to have those bags in all the colors because i feel like it's not too big it's not too small it's just a perfect handbag to take out it can fit in your phone keys can literally fit in a lot of items in there to see this in a bigger size like it's amazing it's really cute very classy very simple my laptop can fit in here like i think i can throw in a lot of things in here and it would not feel too big i really like this bag this was ten thousand for it i do not understand why this bag is ten thousand for it and the smaller bags is equally ten thousand for it like make it make sense i don't understand zara this is one of the items i picked out from, from zara now let's quickly move on to the perfume oils before i even start i just want to say that i'm highly disappointed because i'm a firm believer of if you want to do something do it well yeah i get the vibe that zara is trying to go for with the perfume oils the disclaimer in this video is just that the zara perfume oils they are just like I don't even know what the, es the essence of this is. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I got two scents from the perfume oil collection. And they have other ones. I'm going to leave it on the screen for you guys to see the different ones. Or I'm going to leave all the links to the different perfume oils in the description box. So if you guys want to try that out. I am definitely not buying the other ones because from my research... <laughs> those ones don't tend to smell like anything spectacular nothing so unique it's not like the rose gourmand and the red temptations no it's more like floral fruity sweet you know nothing so spectacular but i was very interested in this oud and vanilla it's called oud and vanilla in majeste oud and vanilla i think i'm literally spoiling the name it is a roll-on perfume oil let's see what this one is all about oud and vanilla so you would expect that this this is how it comes in obviously this is the packaging comes in this box and then you find the oil here and this is how the oil looks pretty cute in my opinion i feel that this is nice and comes in really handy because you can fit it in your handbag easy to reapply like in case you want to touch up your fragrances so yeah it's a roll-on perfume oil as i mentioned earlier and um huh. Oh 
<laughs> at first there's this very foul smell that i get that i do not like i don't know if it's the oil concentration or i, do, I don't really know what exactly it is you would expect that you get oud in this but i'm telling you i don't get any oud i think i get too much of the vanilla and this doesn't even smell like something that's gonna last in my opinion i have tried this before and it was not long lasting on me i'm telling you maybe in the next two hours this is going to wear off you will not smell anything on your skin so I don't get it i can tell that there's something there but it's not really prominent it's not really there there and um yeah like they said if you want to apply this it's good to apply like on corners of your neck behind your ears the nape of your neck in your wrist you probably get more wear from this fragrance because those are the pulse points and if you even get to hug people it's like a close contact kind of scent so it's not something they're going to project for sure and this is 4500 4,595 forints. It's not that pricey, but for something like this, I would never buy this thing again for sure. And I don't get any amount of wood from this. I'm not a fan of this thing. It just gives me baby powder kind of vibe. Yeah, that's what I get from this thing. Baby powder. Like it smells like a baby, baby powder. That's what I get from this. So I'm definitely not impressed with this particular one. Okay, so the next one here is um inestimable santal the packaging is the same this is 15 ml equally the same price 4595 forints which is almost like 4600 comes in the same box the same packaging for all of them this is what inestimable santal let's see what this is about same packaging First of all, I don't know if it's because it's oil. The oil base, I don't know if it's the smell of the oil that is making it. There's just something I don't like about the oil, to be honest. I have other perfume oils and I don't get that same vibe. So this inestimable Santal, it smells like something I already own. I don't know. It smells like one of their fragrances. Maybe filled, filled in midnight and filled in midnight or something like that. Or nightfall, midnight filled. I don't know. There's, there's a fragrance called... I don't remember the name that's the vibe i get from this one i think that's supposed to be a dupe for ah what's this fragrance zadik and voltaire voltaire this is her pardon me if i've butchered the name that's the vibe i get from this one it's obviously it's a bit milder it's not as strong as that particular fragrance this is something i'll probably wear at night you know before i go to bed i'll probably just put it at the pulse point this is better than the wood and vanilla by far i would recommend this one this is inestimable santal i don't know how i feel i don't think that the oil are really worth it to be honest you can decide to buy one and just use it to maybe layer your fragrances which i think that is a good idea if you have a lot of zara fragrances or you have even other designer fragrances that you don't want to layer your fragrances with you can use this oil to create that moisture and base for your fragrances to enable them last even longer so i think that's the only thing i'll be doing with these perfume oils because left me i do not like the smell at all i think with time the wood and vanilla the vanilla is more more prominent so i don't really get too much of the wood in the dry down i get so much of the vanilla and it's not bad at this point i'm not mad at it but in the beginning i do not like it at all those are the two perfume oils i picked up from zara obviously there's so many other ones i'm going to leave the links in the description box but if i'm going to recommend any of the two i would recommend inestimable santa because i feel like it smells better you would get the actual fragrance more and it can actually serve as a nice base for any of your fragrances anyways thank you guys for watching this video i know it was quite a short one i didn't want to make this video a long one and if you're new to my channel please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones my name is opsi again follow me on instagram at opsi underscore p and i'm going to see you in my next one Thank you.